All right, YouTubers, welcome back to War Thunder with the Angry Nerd. We are doing our series on reserve aircraft, and it's time for the British. I'm really not looking forward to this. Um, I put them right on par with the American P-26. Uh, you know, the Russians are the cream of the crop for reserve aircraft. There is no doubt about that. So, for reserves for the British, you have the Fury Mark I, the Nimrod Mark I, and the Fury Mark II. They all have two 7.7 .7 Vickers E-Machine guns with a one second burst mass of 0.33 kilograms per second. They are slow at 251 miles per hour, and they have a high 14, low 15 um, second turn time. So, without further ado, why I put off the ine inevitable? Let's jump into a game. We have 6 American, 12 German, 8 Russian, 6 British, and 4 Japanese waiting for a Tier 1 game. The average wait time is 1 minute. We're approaching 25 seconds. We should pick up a game shortly. I will be flying with a joystick, the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro on historical settings. Uh, personally I think it makes it a little harder to aim. It's slightly easier to control um, the plane at least in simplified mode. I, you, I can uh, get myself in trouble without the instructor on historical settings. Oh it's foggy. Uh, I'm not good anyway, and you put me in the fog, and I'm even worse. So, let's take a quick look at the teams. They look fairly evenly matched, but the enemy team still got a lot of people to spawn in. Now they do have a H6K4, which is the Japanese bomber. I will be staying away from that. Um, I'm going to just let him have all the fun he wants to have because I believe he's got a pair of 20s on the back of that thing. And they will rip through a biplane um, like a hot knife through butter. So what I've done is I'm just picked out some ground targets to head toward. And was hoping to find. Oh yeah, that's not gonna work. Yeah, all of those guys be heading over. To shoot my butt down. So I need to go find some friendlies. Cause they are all on their way. hurricane was getting close where is he at now if he ever gets his nose pointed on me he's gonna rip me to shreds He's doing a good job, though. 
because I should be able to out turn him. And it looks like he got tired. Went to find somebody else to mess with. And when you lose track of the nerd, the nerd finds you. How much does it take to shoot this dude down? Come on, look at I used all my damn ammo on him, finally. Target's firing at me. And try not to run into the back of him. Alright. That 153 is really dangerous. I'd really like to get him out of the way, and I think the damn HE just shot me. And that 153 is going to make its way around on me. Nothing I can do about it. Nothing I could do about that. Well, I was planning on landing over here, but I'm not going to land when there's a 153 coming right across the runway. And a havoc. He's not going to make it easy for me to land over here either. Is he going? Or he might be going away. So if he is, he's going down, not away, but down. That was one of the worst landings, but hey, I didn't blow up, so while I'm sitting here doing nothing, we will check the stats. We got three kills, so we're doing all right, but still, not my favorite. Not my favorite planes. Uh-oh. That's never a good sign. Okay, so we're back in the air. I 
down I can see some red silhouettes through the hillside. Isn't that nice that you can see all the way through the hills? And I have, when it's really foggy, seen that and flown toward it and flown right in the dang hill. So, this I-15 coming this way outclasses me in every aspect. But hopefully, he is more concerned about that HE-112. Or, you know, he could also be critically wounded and heading for a dirt nap. Embarrassing. Now, for a monoplane, the P 36 is really a good turner. I mean, he's not really going to out turn the biplane, but. myself gain a little attitude and see what we got that P26 I should be able to handle Look like you got three guys eyeballing him, but he's on my side of the mountain. So, lucky me. That's number five, Fighter Hunter. Altitude. Look around. Oh, that's no good. Looking at me. Which is a good thing because I really don't feel like getting shot down by him. I barely got away from him the last time. Oh! You know, I have no idea how that happened. I am definitely going to have to watch that one on the replay. But, All right. 
Alrighty. That was interesting. So, there is our game in the British Reserve. We flew that with the Fury Mark I. All our modifications are already researched. We attained the Survivor, didn't lose any aircraft, and destroyed more air targets than all other players who did not lose any of the aircraft. And we acquired the Fighter Award. We had five kills, zero losses, one ground target. So, you, you can do okay with these uh, British, but it is, it's work. You know, that, that's about the best I can do with the British uh, Reserve. So, we're going to save this for posterity, and we will see you later. If you liked it, like it. If you don't, you don't. Um, feel free to leave comments in the uh, section, comment section, if you'd like any uh if you'd like to see any content, please feel free. Let me know. Um, subscribe if you'd like to see more War Thunder content. Or possibly some other games I'm looking forward to putting on. Um, Company of Heroes. Uh, Company of Heroes 2 and some of the modifications. Um, and several other games that I'm going to post. But right now I'm just uh, doing a little bit of war thunder while I'm get, getting my settings all tweaked out with the new computer and stuff so British Reserve I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you later thank you for watching